Hello everyone and welcome to the Music Empire. My name is Lionel Jr. And last week I played the piano cover or I did the piano cover of this wonderful song known as Adonai by Nathaniel Bassi. And like I promised in this lesson, I'm coming to break down everything that I played in that cover. So basically I did two things in the video. Now if you haven't watched, I will leave a link in the description below so you can check it out. Okay. What I did was I played the song itself and I added some chord changes and passing chords to the song yeah, to fill up some spaces, you know. So in this lesson, I come to take a look at these two things. I come to learn the song itself and also take a look at some of the chord changes and passing chords that I, I played in it. So I can assure you that this lesson won't be a boring one, but a very interesting one. Okay, so let's get started. Now the key of this song is, is C minor, okay? Now it's C minor and not E flat because the song itself started off on the C notes and ended on the C notes, okay? And even if you look at, if you take a look at the first chord, it's on the C minor. But then a lot, a lot of the progressions makes it look like the key of E flat, yeah? Um, I, I don't want us to divert in this lesson. I'll take my time and then make uh, uh, dedicate a whole video on minor and major keys. So that's where you get a full understanding of why this song is in a minor key and not in a major key. So for now, take it that the key of this song is in C minor or E flat. Okay. So let's get started. So for now, I want us to take this songs key as e flat so we don't get confused okay I'm, I'm not targeting a particular audience i'm targeting everyone yeah so let's take let's take it that the key of the song is in e flat though it is in c minor keep it in mind so now you realize that if you are in the key of e flat then we can say that the song starts off on the six which is the c now if it were to be c minor then we will be starting off on our one already Okay, so but let's let's take let's use the six in this case. Okay, so now the melody of the intro goes like this. So it's basically from the C to the G to the F. Okay, so C, G, F, and then E flat, C, D. <coughs> okay, so E flat, C, D. So C, G, F, then E flat, C, D, and then C, E flat, D to the C. So that will be it for, for the melody. And on my left hand, what I'm basically doing is to play the C notes with the E flats in attachment. So I'll just hold so I'll just hold the C and the E flats down once I play the melody. So after I get to the D, then the progression changes to the A flat, which is, and then to the B flat, okay? So, so you can clearly see that the C here is going with the A flat, then, then this D will miss this B flat on my left hand. So it will be like, so you can clearly see, the A flat bass note is taking the C and the E flat, right? And then from there, we come to the D with the B flat on my left hand, and back to the C again. Okay, so try and play this together, and to be like.
Now, what we'll do next is to convert these melodies into chords. Okay, that was what I did in the cover. So we're now coming to convert these melodies into chords. So on my C melody, I have the C minor itself, which is this. Okay, and on the G melody note, I have the same C minor again. So I have the C minor here, and then I have the same C minor again on the G melody note. So you can clearly see that it, it, I'm just using different inversions, right? For the first chord, I play the C minor root chord, and then the C minor first inversion. And for the second one, I play the C minor second inversion, and then the C minor root chord, making the G the melody notes. Have you noticed? So. And then I came to play a B flat major chord on the F melody note. So you have a B flat major chord on the F melody note. So this is a B flat major chord, B flat major chord, okay? On the F melody note. So. And then on the E flat melody note. So from here we go to. Right? So on the E flat, I play. Okay, I play this melody note and take a look at it. They are all C minor chords. Okay, they are all C minor chords. You see, this is a C minor chord. This is a C minor chord. So this time I'm playing the first inversion and then the second inversion of the C minor chord. Okay. And so now this becomes a C minor 11 chord because of the F notes inside, okay? So, so once again, we have our B flat chord here as well. Now I'm playing the first inversion of the B flat and the second inversion of the B flat, okay? So basically what I've been doing is to play two inversions together at the same time. And I've just been utilizing the C minor chord and the B flat major chord throughout. All on the C bass note coupled with the E flat. Now you can also choose to add the G to it. Yeah, so. Then to our A flat major chord which is now this is just an A flat major chord. We have the first inversion and the second inversion combined. We are back to our C minor chord to the B flat major chord. Okay. We're back to our C minor chord again. Now I think you are even understanding why this song is in the key of C minor. melody there as well which goes like um so let's take a look at that one so the basic melody is so it's c g now if you take a look at this very well we are utilizing the the same note we used for the previous melody. So it is C, G, F, G, E flat. Okay, C, C, G, F, G. Now I have E flat, F, and then D. So try it, try it, let's go. C, G, F, G, then E flat, F, D. Then we come to C, E flat, D. So C, E flat D to the C. So if you combine everything, it will be like so. And then 
and then the progression is the same as the first the, the intro the progression is the same as the intro okay so so we will be on our c minor again which is a c with our my with my minor third here okay so Go to the A flat, B flat. Now, one interesting thing I did here was to hold down the G note. So I did hold down the G and the C, okay, like this, over my C bass note, and then I played the rest of the melody with the rest of my fingers. So it would be like. So try with the same melody. Play the same melody, but make sure you hold down these two so it will be like this. So, play this to the G. And then, we come to the 4. create this kind of nice orchestra effect when you hold down these two notes whilst playing yeah so i made a few chord changes in this region so now let's take a look at those chord changes um, i do something like So let's take a look at what I just did right now. So instead of coming to the A flat, to the B flat, to the C, I decided to do um, a D bass note, which is like the 7 in the key of E flat, right? So a D bass note over an F minor on my right hand. So my right hand is just basically playing an F minor chord with a D bass note. And then I played some few diminished seventh chords over here. So now I have the C on my left hand as my bass note. And on my right hand, I have the I have an F sharp A and E flat. Okay. So this is sorry so this chord so this chord is over the C bass notes to this okay I have another diminished chord which is the B diminished seventh chord and on my right hand I just have the F A flat and then D over the B bass notes up to our C minor chord again. So, and then the next um, chord substitutions I did over there using the same melody was this. Yeah, let, let me play it again. To this. You haven't sacrificed any melody here. the same melody notes you have just um, changed the progressions and the chords but it's the same melody notes so we have our regular c minor chord and then from there so this time we won't we won't be playing the same chords on the c minor what will happen is this so from the c we go to the c sharp on my right hand, I have the F, D, E flat, and G over the C sharp bass note. So it's like this. Okay. Then from the C sharp, we come to the A bass note. Okay. So on our A bass note, so we have. Um, 
on the A bass note, what I have on my right hand is the G C F G C F, and even on my A bass note, I have the A and the C sharp. So play this chord together, okay? So on the A bass note, we go to the D bass note, which is. So on my D, look at my left hand carefully. I have the D and an F, okay? And on my right hand, I have the A minor seventh chord, which is the A, C, E, and G. So, so this is basically like a six to the flat seven to the flat five to the seven. Okay, then from the come so from the seven, I'll come to the three, which is the G bass note. So I have G on my left hand, and on my right hand, I have the F diminished seventh chord, which is F, A flat, B, and D. Okay. So on on, on my three, on my on my G, I'll move to the two. Okay. Then on my two, I have the F and E flat on my left hand, and on my right hand, I have G, A flat, C and E flat, okay, so, and there's an F minor 9 chord, it's a very beautiful chord to play, so let's put everything together, so we have the 6 to the flat 7, to the flat 5, to the 7, and then to the 3, and then to the 2, and from the 2 we go to the 5, so on my 5, which is the B flat, I have the B flat in the C sharp on my left hand. And I have an F minor chord again on my right hand. Okay. Then we just repeat this. So we come to our, our 2 again on this melody. So on my 2, I have the just the two bass notes. The, the, the F bass notes, but on my right hand I have the E flat, G, A flat, and C, and then this diminished chord over the three or over the G. You have already played this. This is an F diminished seventh chord over our G bass notes. Okay. Yeah. So this will be it for. So this will be it for that, that portion, which goes like. Uh, So these are some of the chord changes you can make over there. Okay, let's go over the, those chord changes I just played. Then, don't forget this one. And then this one. So let's take a look at that part. The melody is very simple. So it's just a 4 to the 1. 4, 1, in the key of E flat, then to the 6. So on the 6, I played a very simple chord on my right hand, which is what? The D, E flat, 
B flat or 715. Okay, a C minor ninth chord. On my, and on my left, I just have the same bass, bass line, bass, bass notes I've been playing, which is the C and E flat. To the five, which is a B flat chord. Okay, then I just have that then. So, so on my two, I have the G and then the A flat on my left hand, and on my right hand I have the C, F, A flat. Okay. Then, and then there's a very lovely um, chord that I normally play on my three if I'm in the key of E flat. And on my left hand, I just have the G and the F. And on my right hand, I have the B, E flat, and then the G. So, so to do our, our basic sex chord, which is this. Okay, then we come to. So, so it's basically four, one. Then six, five, two, three, to the six, and then four. Now we can decide to throw some passing chords at this place as well. So one passing chord that we can do is on the four. We will play the regular four like this, and then we come and play a seven. Okay. Over the same A flat chord. You see on my four, I have an A flat chord. I have the A flat first inversion, then A flat second inversion. Okay, so, so we first of all do then. So just by changing the bass notes, it makes the whole chord change itself. Okay, so So on my left hand, I just have the D, which is my 7. And then the F sharp, which is my minor third, okay? In the key of E flat. So we play the 4. Now what I did in the cover was just... So I, I did a chromatic work from the E flat to the F sharp, which is... Very simple, okay? So I did a... Then I did, I think I did. So this is still over the seven. And on my left, I have a tritone. I have the tritone for the D. The D tritone, which is um, the F sharp and the C. Okay. So instead of playing the D bass notes, I decided to play the D tritone, which is F sharp and the C. And then on my right hand, I just have the B flat chord. Okay. So. So you could do uh, and then this is over my, my three bass notes over the G. So on my left as well I have the three I have the I have the G tritone which is F and B. And on my right hand I have the I just have the E flat major chord, the root chord, okay? So So it should be like um, okay. Then um, okay. Yeah. So I did a seven three six chord here. So so on the seven, I have the the D on my left hand, and on my right hand, look at this carefully. I have an F major chord. For the D, okay. So, and on my tray, I have um, the G bass note, and on my right hand, I have the F, B, E flat. So seven, three, and then the same chord again for my six. So it should be like. Um, So 
as a matter of fact, you, you can put this 736 in any song that has a 736 inside. Very easy. So don't just restrict the chords that we are learning in this track to only this song, but learn to put it in other songs as well. If any song that has a six, you can even decide to make the, your seven and a three as your passing chord before you get to the six. So, which means that this is almost applicable in almost like every song that has a six inside. Okay, so. I did that, that movement there. So from the six, the, on the, uh, then I came to the five. So from the six, um, so I basically played the six twice, like, okay? And then I came to an E flat major chord over the five bass notes. Then to the flat five. Okay, so on this melody, now take a look at it as well. So uh, it will be like. Um, yeah, instead of playing the five, I played the flat five rather. So what I have on the flat five, I think you have already played this chord. On my right hand, I have the G, C, F. Okay. Now take a look at what I did here carefully from the from the from, from the flat five. I came to the four. Okay, so what I was doing was I was maintaining this F melody note, and I was changing the positions of these two fingers. Okay, so it was like flat five to the four. So on the four, I have the A flat B and F. So and then on the on the G. So it's like flat five, four, three, okay, so. So on the three I have a G and a B flat and an F to this. So so on the on the minor third or on the flat three I have the G A F. So you can clearly see that this F note has been maintained throughout that cycle. Okay, so remember this is just a part one of this tutorial. Okay. And I don't know to make the tutorial very long and boring. Let's call this the part one. So a part two will come where we will take a look at the interlude or where, where Nakanabasi played the trumpet a lot. Yeah, we'll take a look at our parts and also we will get to explore more passing chords. Okay, so thank you for staying with me in this lesson. I hope you will learn every chord that you saw in, the, in this particular lesson. And don't let, especially the passing chords that we did in this lesson, um, stick with only this song. But then learn to put these passing chords in other songs as well by studying the, the, the progressions or the movement of, of some of the chords. And then looking at where it's best to fix these progressions in other tracks as well. Okay, so if you have any questions and comments, drop them in the comment section below and I will make sure to address them. So thank you very much and God bless you and have a nice day.